The U.S. Attorney General appointed a special investigation for the Biden classified documents case as the president revealed that another secret document was found at his Delaware home. Hello and good evening. I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. Both the Biden administration and the Justice Department waited for months to go public only after news that reporters had broken the story this week. So here are some of the key points in this timeline. It was November 4th when the Justice Department was notified about classified documents found two days earlier at a private Biden office in Washington, D.C. There was no public disclosure at the time by the Justice Department or the White House with the midterm elections just four days away. The day after the elections, November 9th, the FBI began investigating any legal violations, and days later, the Attorney General began the process of searching for a special counsel. There was still no disclosure by December 20th when more documents were discovered in the garage of President Biden's Delaware home. Then today, the Attorney General announced his appointment of a special counsel, and Mr. Biden revealed that yet another document turned up at his home. Fox's Madeline Rivera has more on today's developments from Washington. The President of the United States is now the subject of an investigation. The Justice Department says it was forced to act after classified documents were found in unsecure locations, including the President's garage in Delaware. It was in the public interest to appoint a special counsel. Attorney General Merrick Garland appointed Robert Hur to investigate President Biden's handling of classified documents. I take classified documents and classified material seriously. The White House admits sensitive government documents were found dating back to President Biden's time as vice president. One sat at his home in Wilmington, Delaware, some in the garage. Classified material next to your Corvette. What were you thinking? My Corvette's in a locked garage. Okay, so it's not like you're sitting out in the street. And another batch found at his former office in Washington, D.C. The DOJ was under pressure to act, especially from Republicans, after Garland appointed a special counsel to look into former President Trump's possible mishandling of classified documents. But Democrats say the two cases are different. What I would say is that uh, the president has been moving uh, with cooperation. The president's team says the National Archives and the Justice Department were alerted after their discovery. Can you shed any light on how the documents got to these places and why? Yeah, there's an ongoing process. It's being reviewed. Uh, don't have any. Uh, don't have more to share. I'm going to let the Department of Justice uh, answer any questions uh, as they're looking at this. Former President Trump's home was searched by the FBI after the feds say Trump and his aides resisted handing over records. I hear from so many constituencies this double standard in the fact that there's no longer equal treatment under the law. Possible legal trouble for President Biden or former President Trump could create a political headache. Both of them essentially are candidates in the 2024 yeah. election. So this has tremendous ramifications in terms of the politics. The White House says they think this review will show these documents were inadvertently misplaced and the president acted promptly upon discovering the mistake. In Washington, Mallory Vera, Fox 4 News.